Hey guys, Crouchy here. Well, I'm back from Summer Nats. I had a blast um, and I've got some great ideas. Let's get inside here, go and see brother and get stuck in a Mako. Yes. Guys, we're here at the uh, Holden Bottle Wharf. Brother, what's going on? Work. Someone's got to do it. Yeah, so, what are you done? You got some undercoat on the. Uh, one What's that? That's our, all you need, is it? Resto finish. Resto finish. Good shit. So well, you, the, the body's done, we just got to rub it back, do we? That's the second round, I've got to rub that back, see how flat it is. And you're welding the flutes into, they're his guards, are they? Yeah. yeah. So get the GDS flute done in that, and we're just about, you're rubbing this one back. Mate, you should have come. Yeah. I could see that after watching the fucking footage. <laughs> it was crazy, it was mental. Absolutely had a ball. Booking me ticket for next year already. Yeah? What have you been doing with Mako? What do you... Uh, that place's not paying, so... Yeah, he's an arsehole. He's, he wants everything done straight away. He doesn't want to pay. And doesn't want to pay. How's Miguel going? How are you, sweetie? You been waiting for me to get home? I tell you what, got some plans for you. Top 60, brother. That's what I want to do. Top 60. Top 60. Oh, I reckon we can do it after the uh, job we did on Z. I reckon we can go top 60. That's what we're going to try for. All right. It's good to be home. Good to see me, girl. I'm going to get stuck into it this afternoon. My brother's playing with that Z, that tunner, and get some work out. I've got so many ideas from summer nats, I tell you. Well, it was just going to be a nice, tough rig. Now we've got to go all out. <laughs> Should never have went. <laughs> I tell you what, I had a ball. All right. We're going to get stuck into it after lunch. Here we are. Some nuffies painted these with house paint. So we put a bit of paint stripper on it to get it off otherwise it just blocks me sandpaper up so we'll get that off with a scraper and then we'll be down to the original paint and then we'll take that off with the sandpaper which should come off fairly easy so that's what paint stripper looks like so we'll see if we can't strip it all off get it back to bare metal Right, here we are. You'll see. Comes off. Piece of piss. You've got to put it on fairly heavy. It just makes your sanding a lot easier. Just You just grind them edges back on you. Just so they don't dig into the panel. You just round the corners off. Just stops them digging in and scoring the panel. See how fucking easy it comes off. And then you can hit it with your flappy disc. Because if you start doing it with this yellow fucking shit on there, it locks it up real quick. So you get the bulk of it off with this. See how easy it comes off. Once you put the paint stripper on. Oh, we'll keep at it. Um, brother's been up, he's been um, working on Mako. We've got the doors off it. And he started doing the guards and the doors. He's scratched all the paint off them, or off these two anyway. Had a little bit of a dent there we've got to fix. Um, they feel pretty good, they don't feel very 
bumpy. I feel good. We used to go to the front doors. We'll get up there and do that today. So, so there they are. All back to metal. Looking pretty good. Still full of rubbers and everything out of them yet, but we're getting a, getting a start on it. And the guards are, are back to metal as well. We're just going to do the inside. We're going to probably coat them in uh, um, stone guard. Well, guys, stuck back into it. Got the uh, other tub out just then. It was a bit easier than the other side because I wasn't so frightened. I just got stuck into it and fucking hacked it all out. So now I just need to grind it all back up, take that 20 mil out of, out of here, grind it all back and tack it all in and then uh, weld, got to weld a bit 20 mil strip into that and put it all back together and that'll be this side done. Sorry about that compressor. Right oh, So uh, today's Thursday. Um, I had to go back to the quack, whether you care or not. <laughs> I had to go back to the quack and get uh, okay to come out and do some work. Well, so they think. I came out here on Tuesday, got stuck into it and started uh, getting it done. Um, but uh, they reckon that um, I'm pretty well right. Three weeks and it'll be fully mended. Just worried about my clavicle. Ribs seem to be good. Lungs coming along well. So I thought, stop it. Let's get into it. Let's get my go done. Hey. Who's that fucking prick? Oh, wow. Who's this prick? Oh, Who's this prick this fucking rocked up? What are you doing? All them threats that I said I was going to push it outside made you come out, did it? Oh, yeah, it's like Christmas time. Fucking hell, it's been here two years. You're finally getting fucking some work done on it. Need to get the fucking piece of shit done and out of here, Trav. But not too long today, because we've got plans tonight, haven't we? Yeah, piss up. Okay, no. A bit more work done on the uh, tub. Well, to be uh, stripping there. Tub's sort of going to fit in place. I need to give it a tack, start squeezing it all together, closing the gaps up, and weld it in. But that will be Monday, because I've had enough. Right, yeah, I've had enough. Uh, going out with Trav and the boys tonight to get on the piss. Trav's 50th. Well, he's, he's 50th being, we had a bit of a do, but we're having a get together tonight and give his present to him, so I uh, might chuck some uh, footage up of that later on. Righto, see you later. Uh, I just went and pulled one of Mick's rims off, off the Oldsmobile, which that was off a Camaro. That's a 10 inch rim with a 275 tyre on it, and that fits in there pretty reasonable. We've got a little bit of room. If you look up in here, got a little bit of room there, and if we look up under here, got a heap of room here. I want to fold those lips up, so I'll get more on it. So I might get a 285, 295 tyre on it. We'll see. Um, then we've got to work out our, our diff size, um, but that's fitting in there pretty nice. So that's a 20 by 10 inch rim with a 275 tyre on it. So if I go here, if you can see the gap there, I've got 10 mil to, to there. And if I roll this, I'll get another 10 mil, I reckon. So I can bring the wheel out another 20 mil. That'll give us another on the inside. It's a bit, it's very hard to see. I've got about, looking up there, about 15 mil on the inside. So 50, that'll give us 35 mil on top of a 275. Yeah, so we should be able to get a 295 under there with about a little bit of clearance, I reckon. Um, and I reckon that panard rod, oh, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to have to move it back in a bit further by bringing the hole back in and filling all that gap in with a bit of sheet metal. I might do that. I might bring the hole back to here and fill all this well to be a plate in each side. That'll make it stronger and it'll give me more clearance. So that's going to work. 
Right, eh? Now I've just got to work out me what offset I can get. Right, eh? So, got a 10 inch rim. I'm going to use, I'm going to get a 10 inch rim. I can just give you a rough measurement for you. I might go inches. Shit, if I can get a 6 inch lip. How cool would that be? Six inch lip to there. That's uh, about a three, that'll give us three inch backspace. Because you'll have an inch there for the centre. Yeah, so if I go three inch backspace. Three inch backspace. Let's see how much I've got to chop out of the diff. I love so, it. just a rough measurement, very rough. That's the diff I've got there. Uh, it, came, was it, a, it was a VRSS Commodore diff. Um, Borgy uh, was uh, open wheeler though. Wasn't limited slip, but it's got heavy duty gears in it. I think it's 308 ratio. Uh, I'm going to put a 31 spline 2 track with billet axles in it though. So from what my measurements, rough measurements, I reckon I need a diff 1250 mil 12 wide. Uh, so, which means I reckon I've got to cut about 4 inches, I'm guessing, which would be 100 mil out of this dip and um, I'm just gonna buy new end plates and uh, cut this through there put them in square it up and then get them welded back in we get, oh, get Nick to weld them he knows what he's doing um, he's, he's done enough welding he's done a lot more welding I could weld them and I'm pretty confident they'll be they'll be good but when you got a bloke like Nick that knows how to weld better than I do, I might as well get him to do it. Um, all right, that's gonna work. Right, eh, so, happy with that. Um, so today I'm gonna get stuck back into welding this tub in. I'll get all that welded in, I'll do that after smoke -o. Once that's welded in, and then I've gotta fix up a few little rust holes. We've got a rust hole there, and a rust hole here. Um, Pretty sure, oh, then I think there's another rust hole on this side. Um, back here, yeah, it's only a little one there and that there as well. So I'm going to cut that out and fix all that up. Even though it's behind the bumper, I don't want it spreading. I don't think it's got a little bit up there too. I'll have to draw on that back. That's about it. Oh, I've got to do this too. This is all shot, so I'm going to cut all that lip off, weld a new lip on it, there, and uh, should be good. Other than that, the rest of it's really, really good. Oh, bit there too. I've already made up a, a plate to go in there. I'm going to cut that out and weld that in there like that. Fix that. Good. All right, we'll get into that after smoke out. Tubs are in. All done and dusted. I've just put some KBS over the welds because I'm going to, now I'm going to smear some seam sealer over them. That just, that's just going to protect it from any rust or anything. Pretty happy. Done. That's probably going to be it. Yeah, that'll be it for this episode. Um, probably had enough. So, uh, so I'm just going to get stuck into the, uh, the rust patches on that next and, uh, and uh, probably get into the engine bay here, weld up a few holes, and uh, soon we'll be flipping it up and probably stripping the roof and getting some paint off it and see what she looks like. Alrighty, well thanks for coming along and watching. Hope you're enjoying the content. Um, jump on and subscribe if you haven't. Share it with your friends, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.
Saturday morning. I was just going to bum around and do a bit of work on tidying up the Z. I actually got to replace um, one of the bloody trans cooler hoses I put on. One of these suckers. It's fucking leaking, pissing out. I think it's got a slit in it. Um, it was one that I had left over from the, the HX Ute build. Um, I do have a brand new one there. This one, this one here is brand new. That one was one I had. And it must have a slit in it because it's leaking. So I'll pull that out. I was going to do that. But no. Uh, anyway, the lovely wife went and bought the son a reversing camera for her. For his car. Beautiful mum. Great idea. Oh, you'll have to fit it. No worries. I'll go out there on my day off and fit my son's reversing camera. <laughs> nah, it's all good. I'm, I know by doing it. Love jobs. But um, <laughs> they, they say how women always think. Oh, easy enough. We'll just, oh, what am I doing? Turn all that off. Oh, I'll get him one of these. That's pretty cool. There we go. That's all working fine. I might need to adjust it by the looks of it. But, yeah, women. Yes, I'll get him that. That's cool. But you got to fit it. Anyway. Right -o. Just put, finished putting the reverse camera in the boy's car. Works like a gym. Um, but the boy's not going to be very happy with me because uh, there's conditions that when Cars and Things Restos works on a car, it gets a sticker usually on it, and it has to lay rubber. But. <laughs> there, are, boy, you'll love that. Who cares? I pay for the tyres anyway. <laughs> All right, start of the night. We're out here. We've got the boys here. Shawnee, how you going? Good. Tess is there. Yes. Hey, birthday boy. Hey, Jay. Got Margie here. Hey, Margus. Hey. And Mickey boy. How you going? So we're all pretty cool. We only had one beer, so we'll see what we're like after the next 10, eh, Trev? Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, happy birthday, Travis. Happy birthday to you. Hey, man. Hey. <laughs> you haven't been cuddled. Hello. <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>